Hi friends, welcome back. Miss Walker here and Monkey the Mathematician. And we are going to be doing lesson 7.5 today. So let's go ahead and get right into it. So let me share my screen and we will start with the I can statement. So if everyone can say this with me, repeat after me, say I can use visual models and write equations to show bigger and smaller unknowns. Awesome, I'm gonna say it one more time. I'll go ahead and zoom in so you guys can see it. All right, say it with me. Say, I can use visual models and write equations to show bigger and smaller unknowns. All right, my friends, we are gonna turn to the first building build understanding page. Here we go. So let's go ahead and get our annotation tool. Awesome. So it says Liz has six model airplanes. Serge has five more model airplanes than Liz. How many model airplanes does Serge have? How can you draw to show the problem? Awesome, friends. So let's go ahead and start by what's our first step? C, remember this acronym we do, the CUB strategy? So I would love for you to pause your camera right now and go ahead and circle, underline, and box. So you're going to circle the numbers, underline the question, and box keywords. So go for it. Welcome back, friends. You should have circled the number six, the number five. Awesome, you should have underlined the question, how many model airplanes does Serge have? And did you guys see any keywords? Yes, the word more, that gives us a clue when we're trying to figure out how many Serge has. Oops, let me try that again. Yes, more would definitely be a key word. Okay, friends, so now with our drawing tool, we can go ahead and draw some examples to help us solve it. So if Liz has six airplanes, let's go ahead and draw the six airplanes that Liz has. Can you guys count to six with me? One, good job. Two, three, four, five, six. Awesome. And then, friends, it says Serge has five more than Liz. So we definitely know that he has this amount, plus he has five more. So let's go ahead and draw the same amount that Liz has. Maybe for Serge, we could do a different color. Let's count to six, because we know he definitely has that, those first six, ready? One, two, three, four, five, and six. Now, how many more does he have than Liz? That's right, he has five more, so we need to keep going. Can you help me count to five, ready? One, two, three, four, five. Awesome, my friends, way to go. So now we know if this is an L for Liz, we know Liz had how many? That's right, Liz had six. And we know Serge had five more than Liz. So we can start, we know that they both definitely have six, but we know he has more. So if we start at six, we can count on to figure out how many Serge had all together. So let's count five more on from six. So ready? Tap your head, say six, and then count on with me. What comes after six? Seven. Good job. Do it with your fingers. Eight, nine, 10, 11. How many does Serge have? 
11. That's right. We can write 11 at the end of the problem. Awesome. So then it says use the bar model to show the problem another way. So friends, at the top right here, we are going to write, we're going to label it. So remember when we're doing a bar model, this largest piece is going to be the whole or the biggest number in our problem. So if we're talking about the numbers six, five, and 11, what would be the largest number? What would be the greatest amount in that problem? 11, that's right. So we are going to put an 11 right here because we figured out that's how many Surge had. And that's the greatest number in this problem. So I'm going to do my best to write the name of Surge right here. Awesome. And then we also know how many did Liz have? That's right, she had six. So we can write Liz's name and we can say that she had six, that's awesome. And then friends, if Liz had six, how many more did Serge have? Do you remember what the problem said? How many more? That's right, she had five more, awesome. So for our equation, can you guys help figure out an equation? How can we write an addition equation? Can you pause and tell your homeschool teacher? Welcome back, friends. If you were talking about six plus five, or if you said five plus six, you were on the right track. What is your sum? What is the total? 11, that's right. So Surge has 11 model airplanes. Time for a turn and talk, Monkey. So Monkey, how does using tools help you understand the bar model? What do you think? Awesome. So Monkey was saying he uses the cubes to show the bars. And then he counts out how many he needs. High five. Great job, monkey. So monkey was just basically explaining that the cubes are helping him show the bars, the different amounts, and then he's able to count out what he needs. So tools are really helpful. I really hope you're using your tools at home, friends, as we solve these problems. If you need to still use this page, you can pause, but I'm going to clear it off and move on to the next page. All right. On to the next page. This is called Step It Out. So it says, Teresa has 13 books. Oh, I think some of you are already circling 13. I love it. You're on top of it. Marnie has nine fewer books than Teresa. I love how some of you are circling nine. How many books does Marnie have? Let's underline. How many books does Marnie have? Awesome. So friends, if it says Marnie has nine fewer, do you guys see any keywords in that sentence? Marnie has nine fewer books than Teresa. If you said nine fewer, that's correct. That is a clue. That's gonna help us. So let's go ahead and go through these steps. So it says part A, label each bar. Well, we know that this biggest part is going to be the biggest number, right? The biggest part of the bar. So that's going to be our whole. So what, who has the most books that we know about in this problem? Teresa, that's right. So let's label this first one, Teresa. Awesome. And friends, do we remember, sorry, it's a little hard to write with this tool. How many books did Teresa have? 13, that's right. So Teresa had 13. And how many, oh, so we did, so we did labeling. So we forgot to label this part down here. So this is actually gonna be where we figure out how many Marnie has. So let's write Marnie's name right here, M A. Oops, R, N, 
I and E. I'm sorry, it's so messy, friends. So Marnie has how many books? We need to figure it out. So we know that Marnie has how many fewer than Teresa? That's right, she has nine fewer. Let me try that again. So let's figure out if she has nine fewer, how many that would be. What could we do to figure that out? Yeah, I think I hear some of you saying we can draw a picture. Let's do it, ready friends? Let's draw some books. So let's draw 13 books. Can you count to 13 with me? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13. Awesome. And now my friends, my next question for you is, hmm, how many fewer does Marnie have? Nine fewer. So that means that Marnie has nine less than Teresa. So what do we need to do to those books to figure this out? If you said we need to cross out nine of them, you, my friend, are on the right track. Can you guys help me? Ready? Let's go ahead and count to nine. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Let's circle how many we have left. Let's count them. One, two, three, four. Awesome, friends. So how many books does Marnie have? That's right. She has four books because four is nine less than 13. We figured it out. So Marnie has four books. And we can write two different equations. So we could start with 13. And then what did we subtract to figure it out? Yeah, we took away nine, we subtracted nine. And then what was the difference? What did we end up with? Remember up here? Yeah, that's right, four. Friends, can you think of an addition equation that we can write? Yeah, so four plus nine equals 13. Awesome, friends. All right, let's go ahead and try one more problem. And then I'm going to release you to do the rest with your homeschool teacher and then the on your own page on your own. So it says Ralph has six more apples than Alice. Ralph has 15 apples. How many apples does Alice have? Let's do our cub strategy. Can you pause the video, do your cub strategy, and then come back? All right, friends, welcome back. You should have circled six. You should have put a box around more. You should have circled 15. You should have underlined the question. Awesome. So it says label each bar. So, hmm, who has the most apples in this equation, in this word problem? Yeah, Ralph does. That's correct. Oh, does he? Wait a minute. Let's try again. Ralph has six more apples than Alice. Ooh, you're right, friends. It is Ralph. So let's label this first line as Ralph because we know in this equation, he has the most apples. That's why his number is going to go in this largest part of our bar model. So how many apples does Ralph have? 15. That's right. So we're going to put the 15 right here. Awesome. And then do we know how many apples Alice has? We're not sure. We need to figure it out. But we do know that this is where the number is going to go when we do figure it out. So we can label Alice. And we know Ralph has six more apples than Alice. So let's go ahead and get ready. What could we do to solve it? Could we draw a picture? Yes, we sure can. So let's go ahead and draw. We're gonna draw some apples. How many apples are we gonna draw? 
right, let's draw 15 apples. Ready? Can you count to 15 with me? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen. That's how many Ralph has. And if it says that Ralph has six more apples than Alice, that's a clue that Alice is going to have less than him. So since he has six more than her, Ralph has, so Alice is going to have six less than Ralph. So how many can we cross out from our picture? Yes, let's cross out six. Can you count to six with me? One, two, three, four, five, six. Awesome. Can you help me circle how many are left? Great, friends. Let's go ahead and count. Oh, let me try to redo that real fast. We circled how many are left. Can you count them up with me? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. So Alice has nine apples. How can we write our equation? If you can pause your camera and do pause your video and write your equation, that would be awesome. Welcome back, friends. We should have nine up here by now. And some of you for your equations, I think you were starting with the largest number, subtracting six, and your difference was nine. I think some of my other friends were using an addition equation. They were writing six plus nine equals 15. Boys and girls, you did so awesome figuring out these problems. And these weren't easy. I love how hard you worked. Keep up the great work. I look forward to seeing you next time. Thank you so much, friends. Take care. Have a great rest of your day.